Let us now have a look at question 8. Fermentation of glucose produces ethanol, which is about 10% by volume. Name the process by which the percentage of ethanol could be increased. So if, if our ethanol is 10% by volume, that means we have the other remaining 90%, probably water. Because during fermentation of glucose shall produce our ethanol and and water so it's basically having ethanol and water a mixture of ethanol and water we know that this mixture is actually a miscible mixture they can mix to form a uniform layer so that means or a uniform mixture so that means we cannot separate this mixture by use of a separating funnel the best we can do is to use fractional distillation now during fractional distillation we know that we sh shall heat a mixture of ethanol and water until the one that has a lower boiling point will evaporate off most or boil off first so our ethanol will escape first because ethanol actually has 78 boils at 78 degrees celsius while our water will boil at a uh, 100 degrees Celsius at normal atmospheric pressure. That means when we are heating this mixture, ethanol will escape first and it can be condensed later on. So that distillate that we obtain will be mainly having a higher percentage of ethanol than water. So when you heat a mixture of ethanol and water, ethanol will ev evaporate first or boil off first. Then we shall condense it with the help of a Leibig condenser. So our mixture or our distillate that will be obtained will have a higher percentage which is greater than our 10%. Probably we shall have an 85% of ethanol and the remaining 15% water. So in that case we shall have increased the percentage of ethanol through fractional distillation. State the process, state the principle on which the process we have named in Eroman 1 works. So this principle works due to the difference in boiling points. So the principle is different boiling points between our water and ethanol. Part B. Ethanol undergoes complete combustion in oxygen according to the following equation. So during complete, com complete combustion, we tend to produce carbon dioxide gas. We, they want us to calculate the heat evolved when 21.6 grams of ethanol undergoes complete combustion. So 21.6 grams was burnt in excess oxygen. However, we have been told that the enthalpy of combustion of ethanol is this. Enthalpy of combustion of ethanol means one mole of ethanol was actually burnt in oxygen just like here they are telling us 21.6 grams of ethanol but in this case if you have one mole of ethanol and you burn it in oxygen to produce water and carbon dioxide this is the heat evolved so in this equation we have heat being given off here so we won't find this heat when we use 21.6 grams instead of one mole but we have been told that when we burn one mole of ethanol we produce 1370 kilojoules per mole so what we have to first do is to find the mass equivalent to one mole of ethanol so molar mass of ethanol will be 12 times 2 plus 1 times 6, we have 6 hydrogen atoms, then plus 16 times 1, which is our oxygen. And then we shall get 46 grams. It means that one mole of ethanol actually has a mass of 46 grams. So that tells us that when we burn 46 grams of ethanol, we shall evolve this kind of heat. Now what about when we burn 21.6 grams of ethanol? So for 21.6 grams of ethanol, we shall have 21 times 1370 divided by 46. 
So here we are simply cross multiplying. 46 is to 370. 21.6 is to x. So we just cross multiply. Our x will be 21.6 times 1370 divided by 46. So we shall have 643.3 kilojoules being evolved. So that will be the heat that can be evolved when 21.6 grams of ethanol undergoes complete combustion. State the practical application of combustion of ethanol. Now usually when you're burning this alcohol, the main essence could be to give off heat. So this is normally used in fuels, it can be mixed with gasoline so that it can give some good heat. So a mixture of petrol and fuel can be used for car engines, a mixture of ethanol and petrol. So usually ethanol can be mixed with gasoline to be used as fuel in car engines. That's all I had for you. Thanks for watching. Stay safe.